What is up guys, it's King Intensity here and this is my 100th uploaded video on YouTube. So this is a huge milestone for me and I know for a lot of other YouTubers this is a huge milestone as well. So in this video basically I'm just going to be talking about my channel, how I kind of got started on YouTube, what I've learned so far and what is to come with my channel. So just sit back, chillax and I'm just going to start talking about how I got started with YouTube. So back in July of 2012, um, I never had really the idea that I wanted to start a channel. I actually started started this channel just so I could subscribe to a bunch of big name YouTubers like uh, Matrix, he does a lot of Call of Duty. I'm actually currently subscribed to him. I like watching Call of Duty, some of the YouTubers that do that, but I don't like recording it because I feel like I have nothing to say about it. And so I really didn't have the intentions to start a channel at that point, but I started subscribing to all these big name YouTubers like Frankie on PC, Jack Frags, like I said Matrix, and th then I started realized like maybe I could start making videos and maybe that'd be fun. So I actually didn't have a game capture and this is what Meanwhile, why Daisy started to get popular if you know that Armor 2 mod. So, my channel basically started out like I was recording Daisy on my laptop and the, really like it was terrible like I was getting 17 frames per second there was no commentary on it and it was just kind of like some of the experiences I had on it so it really it wasn't that great I mean I look back on it, I'm like this is completely terrible but I mean that's kind of how you start on, on YouTube you learn things and you progress and so eventually what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a game capture and honestly I wanted to start you know doing Black Ops 2 commentary montages with all that stuff that people want to do but then once I got my capture card I realized that's not what I want to do. I want to take a different direction that other YouTubers might not take because I know I knew coming into this that there would be a lot of competition. A lot of YouTubers are starting up and there I have to be above that and so far I have about 290 something subscribers. That could that number could go up or down by the time um, this video gets out or and right now I have I think it's like 38,000 views overall like total so I think that's pretty good. So so far my channel is doing all right but um, starting out it definitely it wasn't that way. I was frustrated a lot. I only had like 16 subscribers for literally like two months on end and it was really frustrating. I, I was trying to build that bigger audience but then I realized like you know it doesn't matter. I mean I enjoy editing. I enjoy making videos and that's really all I care about so that was kind of my, kind of my philosophy after that point. I didn't really care how many subscribers I had. It didn't frustrate me anymore. I was just like you know what I'm just gonna make and edit videos and that's what I'm gonna do. So pretty soon in December of 2012 I got my capture card and a little bit later after that Halo 4 came out and so I got Halo 4 started making gameplays and such and started to learn kind of how to edit um, a while after that I got Sony Vegas which is some really good editing software I suggest it to anyone who wants to use it so I started to learning how to like edit properly how to edit good videos and even right now I'm like I'm still learning I still learn things every time I edit and that's one of the things I really love about editing is just you learn so much and there's so many things that you have to learn about quality and how your videos can be and like how to do good commentaries and stuff like that so I think learning all that stuff was really fun for me and it was just like starting YouTube was really fun and that's why I did it and so eventually I got up to the point where I am now I started recording Battlefield a lot and I really enjoy Battlefield especially I'm waiting for Battlefield 4 to come out I'm gonna do lots of videos for that but Battlefield 3 especially I love making videos for I love making videos for Halo 4 and some PC games I occasionally do but not really but mainly that's what my channel is based upon was kind of that Battlefield deal and so yeah that's kind of how I started off and starting off I knew this would be frustrating at times I knew that there was a lot of competition out there I'm not gonna get subscribers instantly like some people might think and so really it's just fun for me and I like uploading videos so that other people can see them I love seeing your guys's feedback and telling me like whoa this is cool or maybe that's not good and that helps me become a better editor better recorder and stuff like that and better commentator especially when I started off commentating I was terrible and I've seen improvement from then on and so I'd say I'm a little bit better from when I first started off and I get better every day so I'm definitely gonna do more commentaries in the future so right now is kind of like a turning point in my channel there's a lot of things I want to change right now I'm recording with a Roxio game capture HD Pro I'm actually gonna switch that out for an Elgato HD and that will give me some higher quality videos you know the Roxio has a handful of problems I really don't want to deal with so I'm gonna get an Elgato that'll help me with my editing and really I want to start uploading videos less but I want to work on them more so I'm kind of going over like like quality over quantity because I really want to work hard on editing good videos instead of trying to get out a video every other day or kind of what like have a schedule I just want to like work on a video really hard and just kind of do as good as I can at editing it and then just get it out onto YouTube 
so you know like qu quality over quantity is what I want to go for in the future now I know some of you have your own channels out there especially um I know lots of people over YouTube and there's lots of people that I met over YouTube that have their own channels and occasionally I play Xbox with them have some really good conversations and that's what I like about YouTube is like when you have a smaller channel like you get to know your subscribers on a personal basis so that's not really something you get to do when you have a really popular channel and I feel like having a smaller channel and that aspect is better because you get to really know your subscribers and see everybody's feedback and if you have like a really popular channel then it's really hard to kind of get a feel for what your subscribers want and like personally meet everybody so I feel like having a smaller channel is actually kind of better in that way so I really like having a smaller channel getting to meet all you guys I have about 290 something subscribers so there's 290 of you guys out there right now and that is awesome because I, I just think of 290 people and that that's like enough to fill up a theater or two and that's crazy just like a theater or two of people just watching my videos like when I think about that number I mean that's just crazy that that many people are subscribing to me so you guys are awesome definitely um, help me kind of get through that frustration of starting out my channel and now I just kind of lo love making videos and that's what I love about YouTube so anyways guys just leave your feedback below I love hearing your feedback if there's something you want me to change about my channel or you just have any suggestions so just leave your feedback below like the video if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys later